Hello, this is an EPOC training video brought to you by Woodley Equipment Company Limited. We will demonstrate how to run an EPOC test and talk you through the important things to consider. The EPOC analyzer consists of a host and reader that link to each other using a Bluetooth connection. Firstly, you need to lift up the host and switch both units on. From the login screen, enter your initials using the stylus pen provided by selecting the keyboard icon at the bottom right of the screen. A password is not required. Click login and the host will automatically connect to the reader by Bluetooth. The host will then display configuring reader while it runs an electronic QC check. Once this is complete, the analyzer is ready for a test and the host will display insert test card to begin. Remove a card from its packaging and check the expiry date displayed on the test card. Turn the card over so that the blue area containing the sample well is on top. Using both thumbs, insert the card into the analyzer in a smooth, swift motion, ensuring that the card is pushed through the point of resistance as it clicks into place. As the card is inserted, the reader reads the barcode printed on the card. If the test card is not inserted correctly, for example too slowly or not fully, then the host will display unable to read barcode. In this case, remove the test card and insert again. Once inserted correctly, the screen will display the lot number and expiry date of the inserted card and start a calibration cycle that lasts 165 seconds. During this time, you can enter the patient details by selecting the second tab icon and using the keyboard to enter patient ID and select a species and sample type, which ensures the correct species specific reference ranges are reported. You can then close the keyboard and return to the testing screen. You can also use this time to take your patient sample using either a plain syringe or a balanced lithium heparin syringe. For truly accurate PO2 and SO2 results, an arterial blood sample should be used. The minimum volume required is 100 microliters of whole blood. Once a sample is taken from the patient, it should be tested immediately, do not delay. Once the calibration cycle is complete, the analyzer will display inject sample and you have seven minutes to introduce the blood into the EPOC test card. Ensure that there are no bubbles in the sample it is not clotted and that it is sufficient. Expel the first few drops into a tissue. Connect the syringe with the sample well and rotate a quarter turn to ensure a good connection. Press the plunger down in a smooth steady motion until the analyzer beeps to inform you that the required sample volume has been injected and that it has started to analyze the sample. After 35 seconds, the results will be displayed. Click on each of the tabs to display different results. Press the print icon to print your results on the Bluetooth printer if present. The printout will show your measured and calculated parameters as well as the reference ranges for your chosen species along with patient, operator and test card information. On completion of the test, the card should be removed from the analyzer and discarded into a clinical waste container. Thank you for listening.